Hello. First meeting of Fiora. Cute. I have no makeup on and my hair is in a pony and you're taking pictures of me. No, I'm taking video because this is for the vlog. Oh, you're a horrible person. I'm getting my hair done today. I look horrid. Yeah, so do I. It's fine. So we're in Boston, headed to the convention center now. Fiora's just picked me up in her, her lovely little truck. Please forgive the hair. It's very cold and I'm a mess. Yeah, or to right get gas. Right. So yeah, you so made it to Boston alive. We, we did? I mean, you seem to be alive. I, I, I'm pretty sure necromancy was involved in this. Okay. So which one of us makes the I thought you'd be taller joke? Neither. You knew my height. <laughs> Everyone, first time meeting someone, you have to make the I thought you'd be taller joke. It's just required. We're currently driving in downtown Boston, which is somewhat like um, driving in the middle of the apocalypse. It's more like trying to drive through a maze made of cats. Yeah, that that maze of cats. It's pretty Im impressively fucked up down here. So we're trying to make it to the con convention center to get badges and also apparently to get gas. Um, and then once we get our badges, we'll come back to the hotel. Hopefully I'll have hotel room at that point because I'm still... Still waiting, Boston Park Plaza. Y'all told me an hour, two and a half hours ago. A little sad about that, fam. But yeah, welcome to downtown Boston. And uh, this is PAX East officially day zero. Because tomorrow is day one, but the team for Kitsuga has arrived on day zero. Uh, the rest of our team is either still in the air or working their way here. But we have two of our four team members. So day minus one. Um, yes, because you weren't here last night. I don't know why you felt possessed to come here one hour, one day before needed. Um, because you told me I had to be here on Thursday. That is correct. And I assumed that meant during the daytime, before Today's, the crack of noon. Today is Thursday, during the daytime. Turn left on Charles. We're getting gas. Really? Not the kind that comes out of the butt, the kind that comes out of the fuel pump. Fair enough, far in here. <laughs> I already did. Okay. So yeah, uh, we're getting some gas and we're gonna head over to the convention center, uh, over to PAX itself. Uh, today is day zero, like I said, so that basically means all we do is we go and we get our badges, and then once we've gotten our badges, we will go back to the hotel. I'm gonna have lunch with a friend, I won't bring you guys for that, sorry. Um, and then we have a couple meetings tonight, and then tomorrow morning it'll be full on. We'll go in for the media hour. We'll be there for that. Of course, you guys will be there for that. And uh, we'll go all right in. I mean, we'll go straight into PAX. And uh, we got a lot of great appointments set up for tomorrow. Only one appointment for tonight, only one meeting. But we got a lot of great appointments set up for tomorrow. And hopefully, we can bring you guys all of the stuff that we have. I mean, I'm really stoked to see a lot of the games that are going to be there tomorrow. And uh, we're going to try to see as many games as possible in as little time as possible. Fiora's pumping gas, so I just figured I'd <laughs> drop a quick blizzog. We're on, like, the west side of Boston, I think, um, at a gas station. And then we're going to head over there. It's about 15 minutes away. How do you like Boston so far? I've never liked Boston. I hate this city with passion. Well, that was definitive. Fiora's truck is unhappy. Uh, Jerry is never happy unless Jerry is doing 50 plus. Fiora's truck doesn't have it, it has a name, it's called Jerry. I don't know if this is going to come out because it's really fucking windy, but we made it to the convention center in the truck. Fiora's currently paying for parking, I think. Waiting for authorization, bitches! Okay, okay. Alright, so we're going over there, that's the convention center itself, to get our media badges, to case Fiora is, Fiora is having milkshake and looking at me annoyedly. We're at we're at <laughs> we're at Boloco eating amazing burritos. Here, look at the burrito, not the boobs. There we go. And uh, we've met some friends for lunch. Hello. And, uh, yeah, there we go. You're in, in angle mostly, in focus. Fiora is still looking at me angrily. But yeah, we stopped for a first lunch in Boston. 
getting some delicious boloco. This is probably a really bad angle. I apologize in advance. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna after this, we're gonna go back to the hotel and meet up with the rest of the team. We made it, right, Fiora? Yeah, sure. We're here in one piece, not completely removed of our sanity. When do we eat the babies? <laughs> okay then. Well, we made it to the Boston Park Plaza, guys. Um, the room's a little smaller than it was last year, but hey, you know, it's okay. Um, we do have a closet that's, like, frighteningly large. <laughs> actual size of closet, similar to actual size of bathroom. Not really sure what's up with that. But hey, we got a big TV, so that's pretty cool. We have a window. Should I see what's outside the window, guys? It's, I think it's just, like, the rest of the hotel. Oh no, we have an actual view, y'all. Wow, that's bright as fuck. Look at that, we have an actual view. Uh, well, I've got some good sunlight. Let's, uh, let's just talk about what we're gonna do, basically. So the rest of today is pretty much we have one meeting, uh, and then we're kind of just done for the day. Like, today's kind of the chill day on Thursday, so this is probably gonna be a really short vlog. And sorry about how short that's gonna be. But like, it's gonna be pretty much a chill day. Uh, I'm gonna play some, some my Switch. Y'all, look, I got me a Switch. I got me a Switch, not the kind you hit people with either. Uh, so we'll play some Switch, uh, hang out in the hotel, maybe go to the bar a little bit. Fiora's gonna get her hair did. Her heart did. I'm gonna get my hair done and then I'm gonna go find a scam for these headphones because Rose Gold is ugly as fuck. Oh, you should talk about the headphones. So Fiora wrote a very successful article about Armored Warfare. So as a reward for said article, I have given Fiora nice things. Um, the headphones that you see there, courtesy of our friends at Lucid Sound, guys. Um, I, I know I'm showing Lucid Sound again, but if you've never seen these headphones before, they're crazy pretty. I mean, Rose Gold was ugly. <laughs> so says Fiora. There's an actual review of these headphones up on our YouTube channel, so you know I'll put a link in the description. So just click it if you want to see an actual review. But I also got her the standard kit that we use. So if you wanna, you know, if you guys want free headphones and free kit, you gotta come get sponsored by us. That's the wrong way to hold that. Put it in the light. There we go. So this is an Audio Technica 2020. Not the USB version, guys. The USB version they don't make anymore. Uh, so I had to buy her an audio interface to go with it too. Why do you have to hold everything candid? Because it's a Euphoria UM2. In the comment section, are y'all gonna give me shit for that? But I bought the cheap one. Because I'm she a cheap ass. She expects me, of all people, to hold stuff straight. Yeah, well, you're pretty fucking gay. It's true. So, yeah. Uh, mad shout out to Audio Technica. They did not give me that for free. Obviously, I had to fucking buy it. <laughs> and uh, Euphoria. And uh, hopefully this is going to help take Fiora's streaming to the next level. Currently, Fiora's rocking out to some furry shit, probably. Uh, I don't know. I can't hear a word she's saying. She can say I'm the horriblest, worst person in the world right now. Yeah, Fiora's rocking out to some furry shit currently. Um, she's like the most furry human being alive. So I'm gonna jump in this bed and uh, I'm gonna chill for a while, play some Switch, and then, you know, I'll let you guys know. Tonight, maybe we'll have some cool shit to show you guys tonight, depending on how our meet. Rob made it. We have three fourths of our team here now. The beard made it in real life. <laughs> we're, we're real, we're not just like fake internet personalities. How was your journey here? Uh, long, had to take two different flights because of uh, wind at LaGuardia, so they switched me to Charlotte and then to Houston. So. Wow, that sounds like horribleness. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm a little late. I was supposed to be here like three hours ago. I will give you a room key and you can go upstairs and come back and join us for a beer. Alright. I found a Jonathan. How was your journey here? Oh, it was, it was slow. The first thing I do after your entire day of traveling is stick a camera in your face. Yeah. Am I not the, the best vlogger ever? Yeah, I've heard so we've got our whole team now. We've got Jonathan, aka Sir Meowface, Rob, who doesn't have an aka because it's just Rob. I'm Rob. And uh, and me. Oh God, I almost dropped my camera. And I don't know where Fiora is. To BH, she's like Fiora is AFK. Yeah. She was here yesterday. Where did she go? <laughs> um, she went to get her hair did, and then I don't know where she went from there. She died at the hair salon. Maybe. What a way to go. What a way to go, right? She got into those, one of those sketchy you know, Asian girls. And just... Rip. And then we've got Amber. Amber's rocking on the switch over there. He's like, leave me the fuck alone, I'm playing Zelda. Pretty much. Alright, so we're. I finally tracked down Mario. Say hello to the camera. 
Hi, camera. This is my, my good buddy, Mario. Okay, we're probably not good buddies, but this is my friend, Mario. Hey, this is the start of being good buddies. Right? <laughs> it's the start of a beautiful step, relationship. We're on, we're on step one. We're going to shove cards down his pockets. And, right. I <laughs> and, and now that I've actually shown up for a meeting, yeah, it's like, you know, I feel we have a foundation to build upon. That's good. Mario runs Uber PR. Not just Uber PR. Tell me the full name because I just fucked it up. Uber uh, strategist, and we do PR. Uh, actually, we do. We call it promotion, partnerships, and uh, publicity. I was really hoping tabletop games would be fun. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> I heard strategies. We, really we, we have had miniature uh, game clients, and we have had some tabletop, and we've also had some digital games made out of tabletop games. Well, we do so, it all. Everything. Now we're gonna go get some food because everyone is starving. Every so I already have to drink once a year. Thank you very much. Alright, we made it. We're at O'Connor's for dinner. I got Rob. I got Blurry Rob. I got Rob. Rob's got a Yingling. I ordered, uh, I forget. It's a beer. It's a Meow beer. doesn't like alcohol, apparently. I, no, I'm cheap. Coke. I'm, I'm buying. Yes. <laughs> I'm buying. Drink some alcohol. I'm buying. And I'm buying. That's, that's Fiora. Can you see a problem with the fact that that's Fiora? That her big bubbly butt isn't here yet. Everyone is not prepared for vlogs. Yeah, we're doing it anyways! <laughs> Fine! I have God. I've assembled the Kitsuga team. Very irrationally. Kitsuga Rangers, assemble! Ah, oh, fuck! Fiora's here, Rob's here. First decision she's ever made in her life. Meow's here. Assembling the Kitsuga nonsense. We've had a little bit to drink. <laughs> I'm an, I'm an Except for me out this don't, don't you blame He's me. sober, but which means all of this is his fault. <laughs> so we actually met Alex again at dinner. Uh, I have a great story to tell. Fiora's gonna gonna I, I like be mad. I'm gonna, it at me while she's telling her I'm story. gonna tell the story. The, the boobs over here have, have had a story. God damn it. So what happened was, yeah, everyone who watches this is probably gonna think I'm a horrible human being. <laughs> you are a horrible human being. She gave me really good headphones from the guys downstairs. <laughs> well, we're cutting that at head. <laughs> We're cutting that at the head. <laughs> um, so Fiora got some loose and sound LS twenties today. Uh, the first pair of powered headphones she's ever had in her life. She nerded the fuck out. And uh, she uh, proceeded to hijack my computer for over twenty minutes to listen to the soundtrack of the furry movie. <laughs> She and, probably um, ended that to say Zootopia. Z Zootopia, the furry movie. And so, basically, oh, um, like we were like running right up against the time limit of Fiora's parking meter. And, uh, and failed Fiora miserably. Fiora lost track of time and got a parking ticket from the city of Boston because she forgot what time it was because she was so busy listening to Lucid Sound headphones. I owe the city of Boston $42. <laughs> Everyone is not prepared for Yeah, we're doing it anyways! Fine. I have no. I've assembled the Kitsuga team. Very irrationally. Kitsuga Rangers, assemble! Ah, oh, fuck! Fiora's here, Rob's here. First decision she's ever made in her life. Meow's here. Assembling the Kitsuga nonsense. We've had a little bit to drink. I'm, a, I'm an Except for Meow. Don't, don't you blame He's me. sober, but which means all of this is his fault. So we actually met Alex again at dinner. Uh, I have a great story to tell. Fiora's gonna, gonna I, I like be mad. I'm gonna, it at me while she's telling her I'm story. I'm gonna tell the story. The, the boobs over here have had a story. God damn it. So what happened was, yeah, everyone who watches this is probably gonna think I'm a horrible human being. You are a horrible human being. She gave me really good headphones from the guys downstairs. <laughs> well, we're cutting that at head. <laughs> We're cutting that at the head. <laughs> um, so Fiora got some loose and sound LS twenties today. Uh, the first pair of powered headphones she's ever had in her life. She nerded the fuck out. And uh, she uh, proceeded to hijack my computer for over twenty minutes to listen to the soundtrack of the furry movie. <laughs> Furry. And, she probably um, ended that to say Zootopia. Z Zootopia, the furry movie. And so, basically, oh, um, like we were like running right up against the time limit of Fiora's parking meter. And, uh, and failed Fiora miserably. Fiora lost track of time and got a parking ticket from the city of Boston because she forgot what time it was because she was so busy listening to Lucid Sound headphones. I owe the city of Boston $42.